I just finished another shift and I am so glad that I got to work from home today because, you know, it's starting to get cold outside and darker quicker. And um, I'm just, you know, it's nice sometimes to be able to work home and I'm feeling really, really blessed to be able to do so. Today is day 38. Can you believe it? 38 days since my vitrectomy on my right eye. A lot of great things happening and a lot of little freaky things are happening. I'll tell you the freaky things first. Well, the gas bubble is getting smaller, but what happens is when the light, especially during the day, because there's so much more light coming into my eye, it hits that gas bubble and then starts to refract images like, like that in my eye. So I'm getting all of this weird stuff. So the gas bubble below, especially when I'm standing, is down here and it's jiggling when I move. And then the illusion, the, the, the reflection of the jiggles and the movement is now sprayed across the rest of my vision on my right eye. So sometimes I, I'm like a little, I feel even a little nauseous. Um, but I've been making do with it um, because I know I just got to press through to get to the other side. Uh, the good part is the bubble is getting smaller. So I'm happy about that. But it seems like, you know, like when you go on a diet and you like lose a lot of weight and then you plateau and then it seems like you're not really moving a needle that much. Now I feel like it's, it's like inch by inch, but maybe it's like millimeter by millimeter of a change of the size of the gas bubble. But all in all, I'm really, really grateful about that. Um, it has, this is my first week back. I've completed one week of working. And I can tell you right now, I my eyes are exhausted. And that'll probably be one of those things um, that you would have to face if you were getting a vitrectomy in either one of your eyes. Um, is that... The recovery um, is gradual. I mean, there are a lot of great aspects of it now with technology improving and, and the specialist getting better and better and the surgeon getting better and better and better at the process. But for the time being, it is something that you have to, you know, be in a state of allowing. Um, so all in all, I'm, I'm very grateful um, to be here and to be able to share this journey with you um, as I'm starting to heal. And I hope that this information is helpful for other people who may be uh, considering getting a vitrectomy or may have no other choice but to get a vitrectomy. And for all of my uh, followers, my supporters, my friends, my family, all those who have left wonderful comments in the comment section. Thank you, thank you, thank it, thank you. It is just really, really helps support me as I'm uh, going through this. I, I I feel the love through 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 Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. I'm I'm just feeling all the love. So. Uh, thank you again, and I'm going to go because I need to rest. Uh, so as always, I want to wish you love, light, and most of all, joy.